Bell's palsy can be a scary and frustrating condition to have, but there are things you can do to slowly regain movement and sensation in the face. I'm Allison Wu, doctor, physical therapist, and certified neurologic clinical specialist. I specialize in working with patients with neurological conditions such as Bell's palsy. Today, we'll be exploring one of my favorite exercise progressions that focuses on getting the nerves and muscles back in sync. Now, in our face, we have 12 sets of cranial nerves that control our face with a couple that start in the head and travel down to our body. Our faces are incredibly complicated. For example, our eyes blinking, our vision, our taste, all our various angry to happy facial expressions, hearing and swallowing, crazy, huh? And even more. These 12 cranial nerves are attached to the brainstem from top to bottom. There are three sections to our brainstem. Bell's palsy affects these cranial nerves in your face, although different severity for each person. This is a neurological disorder that paralyzes or weakens one side of the face. Some common symptoms include having a one-sided drooping eyebrow, mouth, difficulty closing an eyelid with resulting dry eye. Some people not only have weakness, but changes in their sensation. So pain and or numbness and tingling. Problems with taste and ear sensation, pain in the jaw and ear on the side affected. Problems eating, drinking, and or inability to tolerate loud noises. To investigate causes and diagnosis of Bell's palsy, please see your medical providers. There are things you can do for your face. Most importantly, first, let's free up any stiffness or figure out if there is any. You may do this in front of a mirror if there's loss in sensation, numbness or tingling, because it's difficult to feel. Compare your cheek mobility between your strong and your weak side. So we're gonna go on one side and start with this upward motion, one at a time, then left, okay? And then right and left. This is your entire cheek. So we're gonna cover the entire thing piece by piece over to here, one side, then the other side, and then here and here, and then going across as far slowly. Take your time doing this. Freeing up your face allows you to try to use it. As we say here in Rehab Revive, motion is lotion. If you don't have freedom in motion, it's really hard to use it. And keep going right here on the cheek and across and down and take your time. Get all the way to the ear here on the side and you might find tender spots. If you do, be nice to them. Okay, so we'll go, I showed you one direction, but also go down and do the whole entire thing on your cheek. Same thing, and then also forward. 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 And it feels really funny when you get closer to your nose, but get right up to your nose and really feel how all the different parts of your face are attached and work together. And then once you cover the whole face, you can also go outward. So you cover all four directions, up, down, forward, and backwards. Now do the same thing with your forehead. Downward, downward, so on and so forth, all the way across, all the way across, and upward. Same thing, but get into the middle, and then towards the middle, and also outward. So cover the whole entire forehead, your cheeks, you can also do your lips. Now the lips are kind of funny because it's also right below your nose and you definitely want to test how well it slides and glides upward, downward, towards the middle, towards the middle. I know it's kind of goofy. And your lips and see how mobile it is. If you can pull your lip and like one side is tighter than the other. Now, when you find an area of stiffness, we'll say right here, up and up, just hold it. Take your time loosening it up, freeing it up. If you have any areas of extreme pain, work on everywhere around first, then get to the hot spot. Be kind. 
okay? Your face is going to be very sensitive with the nerves being angry. So free up everywhere else, get to the hot spot, it'll be a lot easier, okay? So we get this freedom of motion, then we try to use it. We're gonna to try to get the cranial nerves from the top to bottom to work together in your brainstem. They work like an orchestra in perfect timing and sequence. There are three cranial nerves that control your eyeball, more for the eyelids. These are attached to the top of your brainstem. They're cranial nerves that control your tongue movement attached to the bottom section of your brainstem. Let's get your orchestra together. So first, see if you can hold your eyes in each direction at a target like your thumb for 10 seconds. So if you get dizzy looking at the side, use your thumb to focus on. So what you're gonna do is hold it for 10 seconds. Set a timer. Try not to turn your head. When you can do that for five times each side pretty well, then try to hold it for 15 seconds. And when that's easy, try to hold it for 20 seconds and keep looking. Don't forget to blink. That's really important. Once that's easy, what we're gonna do is add a metronome. All right, so Google has a free metronome. It's really awesome. What you play, you can increase or decrease and slow down the beats per minute. So I'm going to try 79. So we're trying to move your eyes with the metronome. Now, if you get dizzy looking left and right, again, you can use your thumbs. You're trying to see as far side as you can. Try this for 10 seconds first, and if that is easy, try for 15 seconds. Pause that, and if that's easy, then try for 20 seconds. Now the next challenge is also do the same thing with your tongue. So you're gonna stick your tongue out as far as you can for 10 seconds. <sighs> <laughs> count to 10, set your timer, so you can hold it there. You might notice that your tongue is shaking more on one side compared to the other. Use a mirror so you can see how far your tongue can move one side compared to the other. When you can hold it there for 10 seconds to 20 seconds, easily five times, then also try to move your tongue with the metronome. So we'll turn our metronome on again and try. Okay. So we'll move our tongue side to side with the metronome. Try to follow the metronome exactly. Set your timer again. 10 to 20 seconds. When you can get 20 seconds, increase the speed. Okay? Now, an even more challenging coordination what we're gonna work on is actually moving your eyes and your tongue in the opposite direction. This looks really goofy. Maybe do this by yourself because everyone's going to be cracking up and laughing and distracted with this. But you're gonna move your eyes and your tongue in the opposite direction at the exact same time. First, without the metronome. Set a timer for 10 seconds. See if you can do it continuously for all 10 seconds. If you need your fingers or your thumbs again, use them. When that's easy to do for 15 seconds to 20 seconds, add the metronome. Then you get the challenge of using your eyes, your ears, and your tongue to coordinate top to bottom of your entire brainstem. These exercises work on the coordination, timing, and control of the nerves to the muscles in your face to help you regain use of them. Let us know your thoughts on our video and leave us some love or questions in the comment box below. We'd like to add additional videos to follow up on this topic. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate the support. I'm Dr. Wu. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.